Hey, my air sign friends. Thank you for joining me, Indigo, on Indigo Goddess 1111. I'm here doing your daily love reading for August 29th, 2018. This is for... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The messages will not um, pertain to everybody, so just pick and choose out what um, fits because obviously it's not going to resonate 100% with everybody. So you'll know if it's for you. Um, if it's not, check out your Moon and Rising and Venus signs as well because um, often those provide a little bit better insight into love. So here we go. I'm going to tip you down here so we can, so you can see me shuffle. I'm using the um, Illuminati deck, beautiful deck. Spirit angels, what messages do our air signs? Whoa, not ready yet. What messages do you have for our air signs and love for August 29th, 2018? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in that order, please. Okay. Okay, your guys' overall issue, Eight of Cups, moving forward, moving on, leaving emotional baggage, leaving something that you've emotionally invested in for a very long time. Um, this isn't easy. This isn't an easy thing for you guys to do. Um, Gemini. You have the Four of Cups in reverse, which was the card that actually popped out when I said I wasn't ready yet. Libra, beautiful strength. And Aquarius, the Eight of Swords, two eights on the ground for you, Aquarius. All right, so Gemini, you guys have the Eight or the Four of Cups in reverse. Um, doubling into the Eight of Cups. So this is a big move for you guys. Uh, you were blocking your heart for a long time because you were thinking of somebody else. Um, there's somebody that you are wanting to move forward with. Um, you just weren't letting love in, period. Uh, you were guarded. You were trying to protect yourself um, from feeling any pain. You have, however, doubled and... and um, worked up the strength enough to move on, you realize that, uh, you deserve more than this. I feel that you guys were being, um, I don't want to say neglected, but like your partner wasn't paying attention to you. You weren't getting the attention that you needed. You were often thinking about somebody else, um, what it would be like to be anywhere, but here is what I just heard. Let me get a clarifier for that. Um, Gemini males. Gemini females. Okay, so yeah, for um you Gemini males, <clears throat> you uh you knew that there was no um new beginning here. You knew that if you wanted abundance and love and life and finances and everything. Um, in between, you were going to have to move on. You knew that your new start had to be um, at the end of this spiritual journey. The positive thing for you guys is it's here. Um, just because it's in reverse, um, that doesn't mean it's not coming for you. It is here for you. It's just not the right time. Um, Gemini females, you could be dealing with a uh, uh, queen of or a water sign female that is standing in the way of who you want to be with, or this is you, even though you have a lot of love and emotion and, um, you feel a lot for this person, you still feel like you had to move on. Like this just wasn't for, um, wasn't for you. So I see you. Yeah. You guys are, you guys are putting that, the situation that was not emotional fulfilling, you're leaving that behind. I'm sorry, guys. I had like a glitch there and it paused and I kept talking and I didn't realize that it had paused. So I think where it paused, given by the time that I was just starting with uh, Libras. 
So Libra, you guys have the strength card. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, but um, this is really, uh, it took a lot for you to break free from a situation, both male and females, in order for you to move forward. Um, for Libra males, you have the devil. So it's been very hard for you either to break away from a Capricorn or to break away from a very toxic relationship. Um, but you have the strength to do this. You have the strength to um, have control over the situation instead of the situation controlling you. I do see you breaking free from this person and moving forward with the Eight of Cups in a more spiritual direction, a more, um, a less emotionally draining situation. Libra females, you guys have the emperor. So you're dealing with a very dominating, uh, fire sign, more than likely Aries somewhere in their chart, either sun or moon. Um, but you, it's taken a lot for you to break free from this controlling, um, dominating person because they are very controlling. Um, there, I also see a little bit of fear here. You feared this person, but you mustered up the strength and you will be moving on in this eight of cups, um, to something more, a better suited relationship for you. Something, um, that is destined to happen. Um, yeah, you guys both have the strength to, um, get out of this situation and to move forward, um, with the eight of cups, um, more spiritually. Uh, Next, we have the Eight of Swords. So, um, the feeling of being trapped, uh, not having an escape route, not not knowing how to get out of the situation that you're in. Um, for males, it's due to heartbreak. Um, could have been finding out about a third party. Uh, yeah, and I did draw an extra card on that. And you are walking away. You're tired of the fight. Nobody's winning. Nobody's um, nobody's coming out ahead. For females, um, you could be trying to leave a Virgo, uh, but feeling trapped in that situation. Coming out of a time of, um, of intense reflection, though, um, deciding to uh, follow your own light and move forward. I, if you're not dealing with a Virgo, this is happening in the time of Virgo which begins, uh, the new moon in Virgo is September 9th. So, um, you are getting out of this feeling of being trapped, but it's going to take, it's going to take a couple weeks for you guys to get out of this. Um, for you females, um, some of you, it is calling for you. It's time for you to be, um, in this hermit stage to take a step back, to reflect, to decide what it is you really want. If it's not what you want, then to move forward, you do have the strength and the power to do that, um, to get out of your thoughts. So, all right, air signs, that's what I have for you guys today, and I will see you tomorrow.